everyone and welcome back to uh, Design and Crafts with Style. Uh, I'm going to be working today and um, on a, a tassel, a Christmas tassel. Uh, my inspiration was uh, I went to Hobby Lobby Labor Day weekend and they had some that they stand, you know, they sit on the floor, that they had different sizes. Theirs were just, uh, you know, uh, red uh, French. I couldn't find any red fringe that was that long and I decided, you know what, I'll just make my own, I'll make it shabby chic and then I'll just go ahead and, uh, you know, do it. Unfortunately, I couldn't find even any color that would be long enough to do this tassel, so guess what? I had to make my own, uh, which actually in the long run, I like it better. Let me get this a little bit closer. This is the medium size uh, tassel, okay? And it's made, as my usual, a little bit of recycling with a paper towel roll. I had cut off about, oh, I'm gonna say, I'm trying to think, maybe four inches out of it or something like that, uh, kind of. Anyway, this is just what I did. And then um, it had an estenial, you know, on the, uh, on the one that I saw. And I thought, what am I gonna do with it? Well, guess what? I don't know if you remember the little, uh, the little candles I've been using, you know, the time candles. Um, and the bottom came on, and it was gold. It came on a, on a little base right here. And I thought, why, well, hey, I have that. Why not use that? So I did that and put a button and a bead and another bead, and here we are. We got our own little thing all of it. And I thought it was kind of cute. Um, and, of course, um, this is a Prima. A combination of prima uh, ro uh, flower with some of my uh, my little flowers too. I kind of put it together. Anyway, I'm just gonna show you real quick. But actually, we're gonna make the smaller one today. But this is the medium one, and this is a tall one. And, and I wanted to have three, so I decided, you know, have different size. The tall one was actually the original size, the length of the paper towel roll. And at the bottom, I used one of the ribbon uh, or trim rolls. I just cut off the uh, S's from both sides and left it nice and clean. And I painted it with, um, this is the Apple Barrel uh, Antique White. And I bought this at Walmart, okay? Let me put this aside and then I'll show you what we did. Okay, for this I use this yarn and it's so soft, by the way. It's called Yam, from Yam, Yarn B Soft Secret, and it's ivory. Uh, it is beautiful, but it has a little sheen to it. I see, can you tell, I'll put a sheen. And that's what I wanted. I wanted two combinations of different yarns. So I found this one, and then I found, and unfortunately I just got through with the very last of it, but I'll show you anyway. It's, uh, see how, it's kind of shimmery. Uh, it has like a little Frenchy kind of shimmery kind of a, a thing on it. And this is from Red Heart, okay? It's a scrubby sparkle. And it was just a white, I believe. Well, it's white, so I figure it's the white. Uh, I don't know what to say, but it's white, okay? And that's to make the really rough kind of uh, crochet little things so that you can wash dishes and stuff with. But the combination of it is absolutely beautiful. It just gives a little sparkle with a little shiny. And I thought that to me, it was just shabby chic. So, uh, and I bought this also at Hobby Lobby, okay? Then what I done, I did the, uh, this is the toilet paper roll that I used for this, for the smaller one. Again, I painted it and put it again on a smaller uh, circle, you know, one of those uh, ribbon uh, things, and uh, glue it on there. And then on top of that, which I did the other ones, I cut out from here to here, so five, five inches. So what I did, I cut out about 11 or 12 pieces of five inch lace and overstuck it. And actually, I did mine right here, you know, kind of like Michelle Poplin does and ribbon roses and and lace kind of puts a little bit of glue, but instead of gathering it, you don't. I just want enough to go around it because the bottom itself is gonna come loose anyway. And then the yarn is gonna give you the volume that you need. I just wanted the lace so we will not see anything at the bottom, okay? 
So far, this is what I did to the small one. And then to save time also, I got a, uh, this is about, the length of this is about five and a quarter. Uh, and I, I just, I just basically covered it up. You want more, you just put more. But since I run out of the sparkle, I figure that's okay. That's good enough. And that's what I did, okay? And now I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna cut it at one end. Let me get another pair of scissors, folks. I can do this better with this one here. And you need a good pair of, you know, uh, sharp scissors for this, by the way. It's really easy to do. Uh, it's not like your regular tassel. Uh, I looked at it really, really good, and I thought, hey, that's a really easy way to do stuff. Okay, there we go. Now, I want to go ahead and cut it about the middle, because I want to have plenty. So, I think about the middle, well, maybe not, let's see. No, I'm not. I probably waste, but that's okay. Uh, like I said, I didn't have another board. I didn't want to cut this one, because this one will go to another project. So I just kind of improvise, you know how that is sometimes. But anyway, probably you, probably if you did it on a three inch, uh, you know, with cardboard, it would be better. It'll give you one inch to go inside is what you need. And the rest of it is the one that's gonna dangle. But that's okay, we don't, we don't, I don't wanna worry about it. Hey, I can use whatever I have left over for maybe a flower or something. So I'm not gonna worry about it. And then we're just gonna kind of go and uh, I'm gonna make it in fours. Divide it by four as best you can. Make sure your ends are, you know, um, all even or as close as even as you can, you know, at the end, on one end only. And that's it. It can get better than this. And then what we're gonna do is we stuff it. Oops. And make sure you get all of them, okay, at, the, at this one end. And I just stuff it in there. Until I get it, you know, like I want to. And I have this comb that I had and I never used it for anything. With the big teeth, I, I very lightly comb it down like this, make sure I got plenty. And hold in the, the yarn too, okay? That way, and don't worry about this if it's too long right now. I just want it to be sure that it's, you know, nice and even. And now we're gonna go to this on the side and just keep on going. And we're just putting it in. Make sure it's nice in there. You know, sometimes we see things and, and I thought it was really pretty. It's a, a different, a new idea. Whoever came out with it, uh, they sold it to uh, Hobby Lobby, but um, you know, uh, to do this particular kind of a tussle. And uh, I thought, oh, this is so, so cool. See how pretty it is already? And you know, it's nice and full. And we still got two to go, so. Okay. And we get there. And I didn't count how many turns I did it. I just kind of did it, whatever, you know. And I use it, um, I use the same, basically the same amount for all of them. So when I thought, oh, that, that's about right, that's when I stopped. Um, now the, uh, out of the uh, scrappy one, okay, you get exactly three tussles, the big one, the middle, middle, middle size, and the small one. Because this is exactly, I mean, I finished the last one in here. Out of the other, uh, from the other of, out of the other yarn, you have enough to do something else with it, okay? You got more than enough. You can get a pick, you can get whatever you want to. Mainly what you want is to be as even as, pos as possible all the way around it, okay? And here's the last one. Okay, let's see. <laughs> and sometimes I do that and I bring them out, the ones that are, they come out, no problem. And we're gonna bring it in again. Okay, 
he's taking that big, right? <laughs> like I said, I study that thing. <laughs> I'm not gonna cut anything yet. I rather do it when I have more, you know, this in here is more control and whatever. So that's fine. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is, I bought this also at uh, Hobby Lobby. Uh, unfortunately, it was not half off, but that's okay. I wanted it and, you know, uh, and I thought it was so pretty. So we're gonna put some in here, but I'm gonna cut one layer Actually, I want to cut two layers because this is a smaller one and each one of them has a little bit less. Let's see if I, how this is going to be because you want it pretty tight, okay? Once you put it in there. So right now, I'm just kind of looking for, for the fit. Oh, yeah. Also, if you want to, and it's a suggestion, I did this to one of them, I'll go ahead and do this one now. And this one also is that with a little string, let's see that this is long enough, it may be. I did a double uh, knot one and two. They seem to stay better when you do a double one and just make it as tight as you can, okay? And because it stays better with a double knot, it doesn't go away as fast as if you just put in one and then try to tie it another one. Okay, there we go. And another one for good measure, I guess. And I'm gonna cut the rest of it off. And then that way when I put my bling, make sure everything is going where it's supposed to go. gonna be like a little short fat one but that's okay like I said it's uh if you don't want as much don't put as much I just like them full you know anything you do fuller sometimes it look richer so it's uh it's at least that way I think <laughs> okay all righty now I'm ready to put this one here and it doesn't matter what size you're gonna do it just put a little line of, of glue and hold it down for a you know a few seconds and when you feel like you got it whoops I may need that again because it gets pretty hot then I'm gonna go, you know, really getting it. Wait a minute, I think I got the wrong one. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay. We started really good, don't we? That's the way to be. And when I done with the bling, when I tied it, I kind of kept going half, half up and half down, okay? Because I still wanted this to show. <laughs> yeah it's this one it's the other one was I knew it was it felt awful small and we're gonna overlap it but we're gonna overlap it so overlap nicely on top of the other one We need to put some more we'll do that too maybe it's a little bit more in here so I'll just go ahead and, and do this right I really do like it shabby chic better than I did the other one but you know that's just me um, I think I want to be really happy with it and then, of course, you can put any kind of flowers you want. I, ha I just happen to have this. And I'm going to go ahead and start cutting some. And I just put it in here on the top. And I, got my, I just got myself by the base of it. It's 
so much easier. Bring it up and that way you can really tell what you're doing. down like that too you if you miss one of you know it will you will see it I hope you give it a try like I said it's it'd be pretty out of laces too by the way you know it, I mean anything you want to do it out of fabric and overlay it and however you want to do it you know I think you cannot go wrong it's just the idea I'm giving you because I like the idea. That's the whole the thing of it. You know, I really did like it. And I thought, oh, how cool. And then, of course, I just did my own thing. This is not decorated as it was, okay? I'm going to tell you that right now. Uh, it was just how my main idea is how to put the yarn inside here and then in this stineo, you know, because I, I really, um, you know, wanted to do that. Seems like I do better if I look, you know, from from high high, high up, because I can see better what I'm doing. But whatever, I hope you're doing okay. And uh, you know, fall is around the corner, and you know how that is. It's uh, Thanksgiving, and everything else is gonna be here too before we know it too. So it's time for getting ready for the holidays. I like it. Y'all have been, uh, how can I say, y'all have been a great inspiration. Uh, and, and you probably wonder why, because you're there, you're supporting me, you want me to do things. And just by doing, being there for me, you know, it just inspires me and I wanna do all I can for you guys, you know, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I, uh, sometimes if I'm by myself, I can't think of anything, but when I am among people, uh, all of these ideas will come up to me. So, you know, uh, you're there for me, and that helps. Don't ever think I'm taking you for granted because I don't. Ever. Okay, see how cute it turned out? And like I said, you can kind of cut a little more here, a more there, and go crazy, but be careful. <laughs> uh, you can overdo it. But, you know, you can kind of, you know, see it and see how you like it. Okay, well the next thing I did, I wanted more bling through here, of course, I wanted more bling, how can I not? So, I just got strips out of this. And I don't know, I, I didn't uh, have any idea. I think I put up maybe about eight of them. And then here I only have four, so I need to cut me eight, you know, another four, hold on. I will cut some more. It don't really take that long to do. Uh, they're fun and a rubber band. Also, you can put down a rubber band if you if it helps you down. You know, whatever, anything. Okay, let's see. I need two more. So I need this two more. I'm 
just going to put a little bit down here, just a little bit, just enough to to hold it. I'm gonna make it go under one of them. It don't matter which one. And then I'm gonna see if I can get the back, the center of it, and go on the other side. Kind of keeps me a little bit more grounded and even. This I might cut a little bit too long, but that's okay. And then I'm gonna to try to go between these two and try to get a center there also. Let's see. count this one and it turned out just perfect so uh, we don't needed it so that's great like I said I just want a little more bling to it you know and uh, It's too long, but that's okay. That's okay, folks. Okay. And I got four, and then I'm gonna go right between and put another four. That easy. Mm -hmm. And there we go. And it looks pretty. It just kind of gives a more sparkle to it and everything. And these little pieces that I got here, what I'm going to do is put them on from here up. And then we'll finish it off right here. I just kind of match each little, you know, bead that I'm um, strain that I put in the bottom. So it kind of, uh, you think that it's coming out from there. Okay. So we don't waste anything. And it's a little bit of recycling, which is a good thing. I like it always to do a little recycle. And uh, absolutely. Okay. And don't worry if it doesn't go all the way because the, the, uh, the top that goes in here is gonna cover that up, okay? We're okay on it. Off. 
And I may go back and put maybe one or two in here, but you know, I'm not gonna worry about it right now. I'm just trying to show you, you know, basically what I'm doing to this. And uh, that I also want some pearls so what I'm going to do is come from here up here cut it and then come down Put it there in the center of it between it and uh, cut it. And I give some, another little dimension there. And again, you can put whatever you want to. I just happen to have this, and I figure that will be just as good as anything. gonna stay just fine in there. But about any kind of glue, it gets on your finger, and everything else goes with it on it. Actually, you know, this thing don't have to be for the holidays. You can make it and, and have it out all year round. I don't see why it has to be just for the holidays. Yes, I think it's too pretty to put out. <laughs> more now if you wanted to you could have done all of this you know and then put the bling bling on in, in there but it makes it fatter I mean you know if you have to go through all that bling bling I mean all of these little pieces you know in here it's easier to put these on when there's nothing else and that's why I did it this way okay but if it helps you to put it all the way down, all of this, and then put the, the center uh, bling, uh, you know, in, in, in there, then it's fine too. It's just that, like I say, I just, it, 
just, uh, I think it, it looks better if you don't. So, but again, you might like it. So that's okay. And if you like it, that's all that matters. Okay, here we go. Isn't that pretty? I think that is just turned out so pretty. Um, let me put this up real quick. Just a second. I'm not going to do this right now because I didn't get a chance to do it earlier, otherwise I would have done it. But I'm going to show you what I mean. This is the little piece that I was telling you about. The, the town candles came on. And since I had to take that off to put it where I needed it, well, I got these little pieces here. And I thought, well, hey, I might be able to use it for something. But this will be what is going to be right on top, okay? Except I'm going to, before I do anything, I'm going to paint it with an antique white. And then when it's good and dry, I go over with that, um, uh, that rough Lauren gold, uh, metallic gold that I have that I use so much of. Uh, just slightly here and there to make it kind of look more festive and probably a little bit of a, uh, you know, unticking too, just a tiny bit, not very much. But what I would put, before I actually put it in here, I would do this. I don't have the button, but we'll pretend. <laughs> okay, but this is one of the beads that I put, just a flat up bead. And this is another bead that I had for my necklace. So what I did, I, pu I put a button that it was this wide, you know, just any button, don't matter. Just as long as it just fits right here and glue it on. To that, I glue this little piece. Well, I was pretend this in here. I put this little piece on top of that and then I glue this little piece on top of that, whoops, which is not gonna do it right now, of course, right? And when I had it all glued on this part in here, it makes the, See, I, this is the little candlestick. There's a little button right there. And it's not quite, it's about, but as long as it, you know, hold, it closes that little piece in there. And then the little bead, little flat bead and my round bead. Then I'll do is, this one wasn't dry while I go when I finish it. So when it gets good and dry, I'm gonna give it a little bit of a gold to it and I'll be fine. And then it will look more like, uh, Like this one here see what I mean and it has a little bit of black or whatever in there here and there and to make it look more shabby the other thing I did I made the bow you know my finger bow do we always do and then I'm gonna show you what I did to this the prima flower so you have an idea I put some little um, pearls in here and then to end that I remember those little flowers those little leaves that I had that were Christmas. I think they're so pretty. And I put two in this one. On the big one, I put three because it's the big one. So I wanted to actually put two sets of bow on the big one. And then I put a bigger one, a medium one, and then I put a smaller one in here to kind of balance it all out. And I think it turned out really pretty. And the little one, what I will do to it, let me put this back. Just to give you an idea, but you can use anything you have around the house, okay? Whatever it looks like in the studio, you can put together, like I said, anything. It, it, put, it could be a little cap, it could be anything. Okay, let me do the, the flower. Alrighty. First of all, I did, I, cut, I took the, uh, the center off because I didn't want it. And then I took the very first layer because I wanted that separate and then I took two more layers off make sure that the layers go together okay like that and you got three for this one and the mid the middle one and the big one I had three but for the little one with two it's gonna be more than enough and the flower smaller. So what I'm gonna put, what I'm going to do is, and I think I'm gonna take this little piece of whatever that is. Well, maybe not, well, I just wanna make sure it don't come off later. 
Um, I just did, you know, just circle a little bit of lace. That's it. So I'm gonna put that in the center right here. And I'm doing this to give it more volume to the um, to the flower, okay? So that way you can mix a little bit of here and a little bit of there, okay? And I'm gonna put this one here. Right in the center and kind of push it down. Okay. And then I'm gonna put this one here. Sorry. In the center. Push it in. And then this little pretty little pink one, I'm gonna put right in there. Okay, let me see. I'm just gonna put it on like so. It, what it does, it gave me some volume in here that oh, uh, to begin with, they were flat, and then this way it gives me a little more color combination to that I wanted to. And I think when I have it on in here, it's gonna look real pretty. And then the only other thing that I did to the other ones is put, and on this one, I may do a, a smaller one, uh, just one of these. Um, let's see, maybe this one, I think. Uh, a rhinestone, a little flat, flat rhinestone. That's all I'm gonna do to it. And I think they will look real pretty. Just a little bling, because it's got a lot of bling. We don't need a lot. I was gonna put a pearl, and it looks pretty too, but I don't know, it, to me it needed a bling too, so. Bling one. So then what I would do, I do my finger bow, and I'd be happy to do one real quick. Fingers out. This in here, and it goes under the pinky. That's one. Whoops. Two, and I go like a finger, figure eight, okay? Three. Four. And five. And like I say, this is Michelle Paplin's uh, ribbon from uh, Ribbon roses and lace, okay? And then I put my finger in here, my thumb. I go under the whole thing. Then go under my thumb. So that piece, whoops, be careful. Let me do that again, okay? Goes under the thumb, like this. Okay, make sure I get it all right here. And we're just gonna secure it, okay? That's it. And once you have that done, it's just a matter of just getting all the little pieces out and, you know, the little uh, loops, however you want to do it. And we just, once we get that done, it's just a matter of just uh, putting it on. And then what I've done also to this, I did some extra bling on it, some extra pearls. And then the ones that I didn't do a double bow like the big one, I put extra ribbon on it right in here. And I glued it all. And then I glued my flower to it. This is a smaller flower, I don't think I needed it. And then on this one, I have two little ones, two little smaller of this. So I'll probably do it on this side. something like that and then you'll have the big one let's see if we can get it so y'all can see it better the big one whoops I think that over here excuse me the mess and this one and then the little one and I think that's so pretty because I'll have this you know this thin nail on it I think they turn out very pretty and uh, very Christmassy, and at the same time, uh, like I said, there's something really you can leave a whole year round. Oops, 
if you needed to. So uh, I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you try it. And until next time, stay well, stay crafty, and God bless you.